Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Holly Bailey's getting her Oscar nomination taken away because she is supposedly pregnant. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Okay. So, as I just stated, I was on Instagram and I saw a headline about Holly Bailey uh, supposedly is no longer in the running for Best Original Song for The Little Mermaid because Disney pulled the nomination because they think that she's pregnant and that might violate her contract and Disney's super strict and, you know, they don't really want to be tied up in that. Now, I did two previous videos talking about this, and I told you guys then that I think she's pregnant because the people in the cabal asked her for an offering, and they asked her for that specifically, and she agreed. I do not believe Holly Bailey is that immature that reckless that irresponsible that like dumb I just don't I don't think she is any of those things enough to pop up pregnant especially not by DDG I just don't I told y'all long time ago I never believed they were an authentic couple I never believed that they are a real relationship I don't believe she's really that into him I believe that their whole relationship is a psyop because Hollywood is a CIA operation. I don't believe that they are a real couple. And I don't believe that even if they were a real couple, she would pop up pregnant by mistake. I just don't believe that. I don't think she wants a kid this young. And I don't think she wants a kid this young with DDG. I just don't. I think this is Illuminati BS. And I think it's done to keep black women in a state of low vibration. I think it's a humiliation ritual. I definitely think it is because white people already didn't want her playing a little mermaid. Okay. And then black people don't like her with DDG and she's done both. Not only is she with him, but who, who and he keeps embarrassing her and humiliating her. And she has no reason to stay with this dude. No reason. That's what I'm saying. Like, understand when things just don't make sense. She has no reason to be with him. She's got way better options and she can do way better. And like, again, a young woman who is rising in her career, I don't think she would even be trying to trap a billionaire. Like, I really don't because she is young and in her prime and clearly wants to do something with herself. So I just don't believe it. I think this is Illuminati antics. And I think it's a humiliation ritual. And especially with Disney taking that nomination back. It's just like, are you serious? And again, I believe the same people who asked her for a offering are the same people who took away the nomination. I absolutely do. Because the devil is a lie. And he does stuff like that. You know, oh yeah, do this. So I can give you this. And then you go do it and then you get played. You somehow, some way end up short because the devil is a liar and he tricks you. It makes no sense why this girl's nomination is gone. It makes no sense. Because the thing about it is, if her getting pregnant and whatever, whatever, or anything involving uh, pregnancy and romance and marriage, any of that, period, if any of that mattered to her contract with Disney and the Oscars and whatever else, then do you really, again, do you really want me to believe? I think she would know that. I think she would know that was in her contract and I don't think she would be so reckless to to break it, especially knowing that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she's got the backing of the Carters. I don't think this girl would go out and do something like that. And that's why I'm saying I believe that the couple asked her for a kid and then like they do because it's part of a humiliation ritual. Oh, yeah, well... That's actually against your contract. Bye to the nomination, girl. See you next year, maybe. And like, 
I think this because that, that's what they do to people. They go through hell and then they build them back up. I think in a few months, like in maybe six to eight months, maybe something else big will come through for her that will kind of like redeem her. You know what I mean? But will we see a baby? I don't know. I'd be surprised if we did, because part of me thinks that they're going to play trickery on us. And in a few months, she's not going to have a kid and everybody's going to be like, oh, we really thought she was pregnant. Ha ha. Internet gossip. I truly believe they're going to do that kind of psychological play on us. If she comes out with a with a child alive and well, I will be like, hmm, they let you keep it. Hmm. There's other plans. You know what I'm saying? The plot continues. Like, I just don't know, you guys. Like, I'm still on the fence as to if I believe she's going to show out or show up to the, show up with the child in a few months. I'm just saying because I know how Hollywood works. But I do f- feel pretty strong in that. I believe her losing this opportunity is going to gear her up to gain another one because that is how... Um, that is how Freemasonry works. So what do y'all think? Let's talk in the comments. Um, I believe this is just another, again, Illuminati humiliation ritual. We'll see. Bye, y'all.